when I started crypto trading, I was using my emotions and I got a lot of frustration because I lost a lot of money because I felt like I didn't even need any stop losses. And when I started using stop losses, I didn't learn into that. So I still continue to lose money because I was using equally my emotions. Sometimes I'll sit down and watch my orders sink. Literally, my trading orders will all crash, get liquidated because I feel like, oh, let me just leave it. I didn't have any rules. So today, let's talk about stop losses and take profits. So we are going to use Binance or Bybit or any platform that you are using is equally the same that you are going to see or use. So, and what are some of the advantages? As we speak, we are going to do a live stop loss and take profits. And then I'm going to tell you some of the advantages because you need rules. You need to manage your risk. Emotions don't win this game. You need to have certain rules and regulations. So we are going to use Bybit today. And uh, you can sign up to Bybit or Binance or OKX or any platform and still get the opportunity to use the same. If you are also into uh, trading or you want to start trading, you can reach out to me. And also you can sign up to Bybit or Binance. Just use the link in the description below. You can sign up and we get started. If you are on Binance, you see there are different names that they give them. But SpotGrid is... Uh, practically all the platforms they have spot grid which simply means that you buy the assets and you hold to me with uh, spot grid you don't even necessarily need to manage much more in terms of the uh, losses and take and take profits but you still need to do it today we are going to focus on the buy uh, buy bit platform we are going to look at derivatives so when you come to buy bit they look at it as derivative trading and also uh, when you go to Binance, they'll have it like future next or futures, futures, right? It's just the same. So you say futures and stuff, but then and uh, you see futures, futures grid, spot grid. But when you come to buy Binance, buy bit, is they talk about uh, derivatives, USD perpetual, derivatives portal, and all all those stuff. So the spot is almost the same, but when you go to different platforms, the differences are just the names they give to whether they are derivatives or futures or whatever it is, which simply means that you can use leverage to trade. And they all, they all have their advantages and disadvantages. So let's go to a, tra a trading platform. Let's use a live trading and we talk about the stop losses or take profits. So we are going to use derivatives portal, USD perpetual, and you are going to see how it works. So this is how where the orders take place. And once you put in things that you know, we just specifically let's talk about the take profits or take losses. So you can see when you come to trade, you see tools. You either choose whether you are doing a limit order or market or conditional. You can watch some of the videos to see what this is all about. But then before you even start to know whether you are taking profit or not or losses you need to put in how much you are willing to trade with sometimes you just you can just use this one 10 percent 25 percent of whatever you have and this is the leverage i always use 25 percent leverage but if you are new please use five percent or ten percent leverage because you will lose all your money then if you put less assume i put like 400 i'm just using 50 percent of my uh the amount i have you see, you are ready to trade. With, with this, you can actually buy long or sell short. One day we'll talk about buy long or sell short. You can actually start to trade. But you see, the problem is that once you trade, you are actually going to make losses because you may trade and uh, you start to lose money and you don't know, you don't have a system or sometimes in Africa, there's network problems, lies goes off. And by the time you realize your order is gone, it happened to me yesterday, right? I didn't put the stop loss. I was just thinking that, oh, let's let it get to a certain point and I'll just pull out or put the stop loss. Realized that the lights went off and uh, my router went off. So I had to put my phone, use my phone by the time I realized off. So this is how it is. And once you see, this is where the amount is, you can use UST or you can even order by quantity. 
of whatever it is you see so if you say order by quantity it goes to the uh, coin that you're going to use then you click here take profit or uh, stop loss so this is where the magic happens so once you do this the pop this pop-up comes out it say it tells you last traded price is which one last traded price is this one quantity 0, 0.00 that's my last traded so here it tells you whether you are going for long or you're short you're going to uh, use short you can do both then it tells you which one should we trigger profit on so once you come here you see this one when it when when you are on bybit you see this but on uh, binance it's a little different so once you come here take profit or trigger prof uh, trigger by return on investment so there are three things that you see the first is trigger by return on investment the second is trig trigger by change in percentage so trigger by investment trigger by p and l so please enter your expected profit or loss to calculate the trigger price of tpls but normally i just use trigger by return on investment so i know that i'm losing taking profit of 10 percent of my investment i'm taking profit or five percent or two percent or whatever percentage i want to take so i always use this and maybe you can also use this to see because it's simple then you put here so you see here you say last trade this is last trade this is index and this is market so we just leave it at last or market anyhow you want to leave it you can just leave it but this is where the important aspect of the return on investment comes so for example if i put 10 per 10 you see that it's going to tell me that expected profit will be three dollars so if it is 10 percent, it comes so so if i'm put 100 uh, like 100 percent you can put 200 or even 500 let me say 500 percent sometimes because some of the coins can go up but i don't expect you to put 500 percent you lose all your money and you cannot even do that so i'll just do uh maybe 20 percent because it's something that is simple but you can you need to choose which amount will you be comfortable taking when you get to the point that you want to take profit so i put uh, 20 percent then this is where the important also aspect comes in stop tr loss trigger by return on investment you can equally look at it in that way trigger by whatever return on investment trigger by chain trigger by p and l when you go on so for example some people cannot lose much so you can put 10 percent or even five percent loss i want if uh, let me explain this this simply means that if your order or the liquidity or you are losing the trade five percent when you lose five percent of your money you are willing to stop that uh, trade so it stops automatically and uh, you get to lose maybe two or three dollars so you can see that it's going to tell me that this is how it it, it translates this that last trade price you are going to lose you lose your expected loss will be 1.5 dollars 555 whatever dollars and that's 4.99 dollars percent so if i put i'm willing to lose like uh, maybe 20 percent you see it's going to be the same amount 6.22 whatever percentage so you need to know how much i can you willingly lose on that trade how much can you willingly lose on that trade so if you do maybe uh 10 percent then you know that this is what you want to lose and you just do click on that and confirm that you click and confirm that you see that here it is tick that you've enabled tps or l entire position and that is long so we are going to use this for long that's a long position so but i recommend that you do if you are going to buy for a uh, short you can do for short too the same so maybe 20 percent you are willing to take profit when if you place a short order or sell order and you are going to do five percent and you can equally do uh, come back and do like just you can see 20 percent five percent then it shows that you are going for short orders so always look at the differences if you are working on long orders make sure you input the data you go for you confirm so once you confirm it tells you that it tells you here that you are going for short you are going for short and once you know that this is what you are going for you just place it and you are waiting and once you see it you can be able to adjust 
the, the, the orders on your screen. Or if you are making losses, if you feel like there's something you can adjust, just drag it and adjust that and make that possible. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions, if you have something that you want to learn from me, I'm willing to help you. But then, happy trading. I want you to know that there's a lot of risk. And this is not financial advice. A lot of risks are attaching when you are trading yourself. And also you can start with copy trading and a lot. But then put in the rules and regulations. Know that this is what you want. Stop loss so that you don't lose all your money. Thank you very much. Follow for more.